What's good, world builders? It's your boy Devon back again with another video. And today we are here talking about, you know, how to start an online marketing business part three. So let's go. Okay. So real quick, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We talk about making more money, saving more money, and building a better you and business. Without further ado, let's get into the topic on hand. Traffic. How to start an online marketing business. What is traffic? Okay, if you don't know what traffic is, basically it's this. Traffic is people. Okay, people viewing what you have to offer. Okay, no matter where you are, no matter what kind of business you run, nine times out of ten, you're going to need people seeing what you offer. You can have a retail store, you can have a lawnmower business, you can have a car dealership, you can have an online marketing business. Everything boils down to people seeing what you have to offer, then deciding if they want to buy it or not. Okay? And that's what traffic means when it comes to, you know, business and stuff like that. That's what traffic is. How much traffic are you bringing to a website? How much traffic are you getting to your um, blog? How, how much traffic are you bringing to your e-commerce site? How much traffic are you going to be able to funnel into your, um, your YouTube? How much traffic are you going to be able to bring to your business? That's pretty much what it is. Okay. So let's, let's really dig into traffic, different types of traffic. Um, because there, there are different types of traffic. Okay. There's, there's social media traffic. There's email marketing traffic. There's, you know, Bing ads traffic. There's Google ads traffic. There's YouTube ads traffic. There's Twitter traffic. There's um, free traffic. There's paid traffic. Okay, so it's a it's a smorgish board, <laughs> if, 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 for lack of a better word. Um, basically, you know what I'm saying. That that's what traffic is. It's, it's a lot of different things. So this is what this is what your traffic is gonna look like. Okay, when you first start a business, okay, you want to get to the point of this. You have a big funnel of people. Okay. This is, I'm, I'm going to draw a funnel of people real quick. Okay, it's fairly, fairly different. I know you're like, what the heck? What am I drawing? Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Might be doing that upside down. So, that's not, that's not fun. Um, how do we do that? All right, here we go. Okay, so, basically, this is, your funnel of traffic, okay? Okay, so this is your funnel of traffic. This is your funnel of traffic. Okay, so this is your funnel of traffic. This is what a funnel of traffic looks like, okay? These are the people that are going to come to your website. Make that bigger. Let's make that bigger. That's traffic, all right? So, boom. So, basically, you have, this is your, this is your website, okay? This is your website. I'm laughing because it's going to be kind of small to fit in the screen, all right? But, let me bring this 
zoom out a little bit. All right, here we go. All right, so this is this is your this is your website. Now, obviously, all these people, aka traffic, is not going to fit in your website. They're not all going to do what you want them to do. Okay, this is considered the clicks of people that click on your website, click on your YouTube channel, click on your funnel, click on the things that you want them to buy, okay? And then not all of them are going to buy what you want them to buy, okay? Not all of them are going to bring out their, their wallet. But the thing is, a good percentage of them will, you just have to get a lot of people going down this funnel, okay? Going down this funnel. A lot of people going down this funnel. So you think of a group of people. So like ten to ten to thirty, let's say thirty people, right? Thirty people go to a store or go to a website. They, they mean they click on the website. They're like, okay, whatever. Okay, so then fifteen of those people put their information in as far as like their email and name you know, to see more about what the, whatever you're selling is, right? And then out of those 15 people, five of them purchase something. So that's pretty much why this starts out so big and ends up so small. That's pretty much how traffic is, is broken down when it comes to marketing online, okay? That is pretty much it. Now, the thought process is, the more people that you get in here, right, you get a whole bunch of people at the top of the funnel, and then they go down through the funnel as they, and then they purchase whatever you want to, you know what I'm saying, whatever you want to call them, whatever you're selling them. It's very simple, okay? And like I said before, there's, there's sites like Bing, there's sites like um, Pinterest ads, Twitter ads, there's Facebook ads, of course, there's Google um, AdWords, YouTube AdSense, um, uh, it's a whole heap. Email traffic, meaning like solo ads. If you don't know what a solo ad is, a solo ad is basically someone sending an email to the, to their group of people in it. All right. So, for instance, this is the email. All right. Email. All right. This email gets sent. Get an arrow over here. Get an arrow. This email gets sent to the subscribers. Subscribers. And your list. And someone else's list. That you know, they have a lot of buyers, they have a lot of people in there. You know what I'm saying? They, they have a lot of people interested in the type of thing that you're selling. Okay. And then that brings those subscribers turn into what? What do they turn into? And all you, I can't hear you guys, but <laughs> they are turned into buyers or opt-ins, right? This is this. These are the people that you're trying to get to. Okay, so this is a solo ad email. I, I don't know why they write solo ad. A solo ad email sent to that person's subscribers. Whoever you you can find different um people that are into you know selling solo ads and things of that sort and and these solo ads are emails sent to the subscribers and then subscribers either become buyers or they or they opt in into your email list and then at some point they buy what you have to offer. Okay, that is the breakdown of different types of traffic. Okay, and there's other types of traffic you can use. There's, you know what I'm saying, uh, print ad traffic. There's postcards where you can mail postcards out to a mailing list and then people could buy. But that's a lot of cold selling. So, you know, even though you can, you can reach a high amount of people, I'm not really into that type of uh, marketing. Again, I'm more of a, hands-on with online marketing 
the online, you know, saying um, traffic generation. So basically, you can use YouTube videos for traffic, like the the ones that you're watching now. You know, saying I can literally use them to provide traffic to a different offer, and then people go on the description, click the link, put their information in, and decide to buy or not at the time. And then they're on my email list, and then I can either keep sending them the same offer over and over and over again to I get tired of sending that one offer and I can have that set up on autopilot if you know what I'm saying and <clears throat> I can also switch up and change to a different product that I that I've invested in or ready to be an affiliate with and then I can send that to them and have them purchase through the email that I sent to them so that's why this this method of marketing and online business is so powerful because it's very 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 autopilot once you get it rolling okay once you get this business rolling things become very autopilot and you end up not using so much of your time um it almost becomes um weird that you can literally open up your account and see you know Payments here, payments there, you know what I'm saying? Like just money just coming in. You're like, wow, where is this money coming from? And it's coming from these emails that you sent to your subscriber list, especially once your subscriber list grows and your YouTube channel grows and your Instagram grows and things of that sort. These things grow and as time goes on, you start to see the benefits of growing these type of um, marketing funnels, okay? Um, but that's pretty much the basics of what traffic is, okay, and how we use different types of traffic. Like again, like I, again, like I said, there's free traffic, there's paid traffic, okay. So between those different ones, you want to figure out which ones you're trying to use, and you know, what I'm saying which one is more comfortable for you at the moment. I think you should try pay traffic as early as possible. You don't want to be stuck in only doing free traffic. You can do both. You don't have to focus on, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't have to focus on one or the other. You can do free traffic, you know, YouTube videos and social media and things like that. But you can also, at the same time, which I recommend, when you have some budget, purchase some um, solo ad emails, video, um, video ads on YouTube, uh, Bing ads, Facebook ads, Twitter ads, Instagram ads, any where you can purchase ads, figure out how to purchase those and definitely do that. I'll, if you want me to, I can create some videos going over how you can actually purchase these through these ad networks and actually walk you step by step through doing it. Just leave a comment below and let me know if that's something you're interested in. Also, if you want to learn what business I market online and how I make my money online and how I build the online marketing business click the first link below wealth builder system it's allowed me to take that money and, and invest in other opportunities that's how I can make it grow faster than what you know what I'm saying just having an online marketing business see the whole point of this is you start an online marketing business outside of your job then once that money starts to come in you take that money and invest in other opportunities to grow your money okay so that's make more save more build more that's what we do around here man that's why i made this three-part series of teaching you how to step up your game and start an online marketing business and again you can do this for only seven dollars man so go ahead and click the link below get started today just so you can start taking that money and invest in other things Till next time, it's your boy Devon signing off for how to start your own online marketing business part three. Do remember well, builders, make more, save more, build more. Peace.